Hey everyone, so I am going to be showing you this Gene DX kit. This is a genetics test that can be done at home, but of course it has to be provided to you um, by your provider. So I'm going to show you what it looks like inside because I need to do this on my child. And just to sum up, really, I'm going to try to put it as simple as possible as to why we're doing this. Um, where do I start? First of all, this genetic testing is very complicated. I am just a parent and I had no clue about any of this stuff. So um, I have two kids. My um, son has some medical issues. So this is why he even started going to genetics in the first place. And they did like two different tests, testing on him so far um, via blood draw, right? It was not a swab test because he's the one with the medical issues. And um, the first one came back normal, like no variants. And the second one came back that he is a carrier of a certain variant, like a gene variant that could cause medical issues, but he doesn't have the medical issue um, for the gene he carries and hopefully he never will, but they're just going to follow him, of course, to make sure he stays healthy. And um, so anyway, so since he carries that now, they recommended that I check my daughter to see if she carries this gene variant. My daughter does not have any medical issues and they both have the same parents. So I don't know how it works when just one of the parents are the same within kids. It's very, very complicated. So this is just the saliva test. So that's why we have this. And then I guess with everything in, that's going on in the world, it was difficult for some people to get into the office. So this was really nice because they gave it to us at my son's appointment for my daughter. And they said, okay, just keep this on hand. You have to go through the insurance to see if the insurance is going to approve it because I'm sure it costs a lot of money. And we've been holding on to this, I would say about a month or so. And we just got approval from the insurance. So now I'm supposed to do this test on my daughter and then send it in. So let me show you what's inside. Again, this is the Gene DX, the Bugle Kit, spe specimen collection kit. Um, first off, make sure if your provider wants you to fill out other paperwork and send it in with this, make sure you do that. Um, in our case, they did. They emailed me paperwork, so I have to fill that out. Also, um, a prepaid mailing label was included with this, which of course I'm not going to show, but there is a prepaid label that was included. So I'm going to put that on the box and of, of course send that in. Um, all right, so let's open it up here. First, we have the specimen collection instructions. I'm not gonna read them, but I am gonna show them in case anybody wants to pause and read them. <laughs> when I was looking at this picture, I'm like, wow, this person kind of looks like they're in pain, but it's just a swap. It's not painful. So you can see the instructions. And then here is the last one on the back. So, that, oh wait, I'm sorry. There's actually one more. Okay, so that is the instructions. Here's an information card. Of course, we are going to fill that out. Okay, and then we have labels for the specimens. Okay, and you can see like the swab here. Okay, so then we have a second one. You do one on one side of the cheek, one on the other. Of course, make sure you read the directions. Make sure you read all of the directions. Okay, and then we have a little Ziploc bag. Okay, 
And then we have the FedEx. Envelope. Yeah. But look how big that is. Look what I'm going to have to send it in. How little this is. <laughs> it seems like the uh, the package is a little big. But whatever. You definitely follow the instructions. So, anyways, that is the Jean GX Specimen Collection Kit. I just wanted to kind of show it in case anybody else had to do it. Like I said, we've been holding on to this for a month and we just got the approval from the insurance. So I am going to be doing it on my daughter here soon and sending it in. Another benefit too is that she is terrified of needles and having to do this swab, of course, is a much better option. But I know that it's not an option in every scenario. Like I said, I don't really know much about genetic testing, but... Um, you heard me explain the story at the beginning. So they said that this was an appropriate thing that we can do for my daughter. So yeah, has anybody else had to do this? So thank you for watching the video. Please share it if you think it would help somebody.